they are all let's now understand the term statistics with its key elements in the proper perspective of today's world of data analytics statistics is a set of specially chosen methods that are used for quantitative analysis of data for decision making in all functional areas of management. In the plural sense, all of us know statistics means numbers and facts. But in the singular sense, the word statistics indicates statistical methods, methods that are specially chosen with the idea of performing quantitative analysis of data leading to effective decisions in all functional areas of management. In other words, it could be finance area, production and operations management area, it could be human resources area, it could cover a gamut of several functional areas of management. Wherever you have to define a problem and looking for a solution with certain numbers and facts, the data here could also mean uh, text data. And uh, today statistics can be applied to text data also based on the idea that the expressions expressed several times will lead to some common concept. And therefore, even unstructured data, you can do a clever statistical analysis. Therefore, I am using the term quantitative analysis of data. Data could mean both numerical and text. And decision making is the hallmark. Otherwise, why do you learn statistics? Why do you learn data analytics? So this is the perspective, methods that are specially chosen for quantitative analysis of data that could be both uh, numeric and text. And decision making is the main goal. And such decisions may involve all functional areas of management. Now. Few examples of the use of statistics. Let's see. Knowing who will win an election before it happens. Because there is no point in predicting after the election is over. So can you use statistical models which can accurately predict uh, who will win, uh, which party will win, who will win uh, the election before the results are announced? So you have opinion poll, exit poll, and all those things you are familiar. What is the probability a customer will default on a loan? That's very important today. Because if the customer defaults on a loan, if there are more customers who are defaulting, then it could result in a very high non-performing assets as far as the bank is concerned. And therefore you need to predict whether a customer who comes to take loan, home loan, for example, will default, what is the probability so that I can find out whether I should sanction loan or not, if I am a banker. Whether a new product will succeed in the market, uh, how do I do? I do test marketing using statistics. And if I get a threshold uh, market share, let us say, or consumer acceptance, I will say the probability that the new product will succeed is 90% or 80%, whatever I'm willing to take as a risk based on that, I will decide whether I should go ahead with the launch of the new product. Then performance classification. For example, financial performance of banks leading to the health of the bank. Can I categorize using statistical analysis into three or four categories? For example, uh, financially very sound banks, moderately sound banks, and poor banks in terms of health. Statistics can be used. 
there are four pillars of data analytics. Descriptive analytics, which deals with what has happened to the numbers, what has happened. So you use summary measures and visuals in statistics, measures of central tendency, measures of variation, and the visuals will cover histogram, frequency polygon, box plot, and a host of graphics, which will help you understand at a glance, can I derive some pattern from the data? So that's important. Diagnostic analytics, why it has happened? Why it has happened? Inferential statistics, hypothesis formulation, and uh, proving or disproving the hypothesis. For example, uh, whether uh, uh, I can say with 95% confidence my uh, new product will be accepted by 30% of the target audience uh, so that I can go ahead, I will get a threshold 10% uh, market share in the new launch. So statistics can be applied, that is inferential statistics. To understand inferential statistics, we need to have the probability concepts and the bell curve, central limit theorems, and all that, which we will see later. And then inferential statistics, hypothesis, uh, testing, and proving and disproving them, which will lead to actionable recommendations. Then predictive analytics, what will happen? Can I use predictive models? To predict something, if the target is a number, for example, whether what will be the forecast for my new product which I'm launching uh, in the next two to three years, what will be the numbers I'll be able to sell? Or if the target variable is a category, whether a customer will default or not, what is the probability, whether a customer will accept my product or not, what is the probability? So I can use some predictive models uh, that are specially chosen to do the same task. Then I have prescriptive analytics. So what do you do? What should be done? A set of actionable recommendations leading to sound decisions, which the management can actually benefit. There is no point in doing everything and not giving a prescription. So what? So what should I do? Uh, that is answered by prescriptive analytics, which is essentially major findings of the study, implications of the study, uh, and how statistical methods will impact certain decision, risk profile at all. And then you recommend a set of actions which the management can take. Thank you. I will leave it at this point in time. You make a guess what will be the next lesson. Thank you very much.